If our sloth's lungs filled with water while it was still alive, then it would only take 20 seconds for the diatoms to pass into the blood and make their way into the bone marrow. We need to use high magnification to spot the distinctive architecture of the diatoms. And they're here. So our sloth died in the water. But how and why? This was no ordinary flash flood. A vast stretch of Amazon forest the size of England becomes flooded for six months every year. One might think that our tree-loving sloth couldn't cope, but that's far from the case. It's a very good swimmer. In water, it can move three times faster than on land. Gone is the usual laziness. The sloth has another amazing, unexplainable adaptation. It can hold its breath underwater for as long as 40 minutes. It depresses its already slow metabolism and its heart rate falls to less than a third of normal. So it's hard to understand why our sloth drowned, unless we consider foul play. They're swimming in dangerous waters. They even brave the Amazon's main channels, swimming up to 15 miles. Here, there are plenty of new aquatic suspects to consider. The boto dolphin has crocodile-like jaws, but it's primarily a fish eater. It's unlikely to attack a sloth. The giant otter is a wolf-sized killer but it too is a fish eater. The anaconda would eat a sloth. This is the world's largest snake, a heavyweight that could even swallow a deer. It squeezes the life out of its prey. It's possible that an anaconda might be able to kill a sloth and yet break no bones, but unlikely. Yet in the flooded forest, what appears unlikely seems to be the norm. The electric eel is the most feared fish in the Amazon. If trodden on, it can deliver a powerful defensive shock that can kill a child. 500 volts. We can't rule out accidental killing by an electric eel, however bizarre. Forensic science can be the science of the unexpected. The arowana, a fish, isn't a likely suspect. When it's young, it will leap to take insects from overhanging branches. But it can grow to a couple of feet long, and its habits have been rumbled by real forensic science. An arowana was once found with two baby sloths in its gut. There's more to these fish than meets the eye. <laughs>